Good morning. So this is the start of what Kara eats in a day. I just woke up, got ready. No, I, I woke up like this. No, I woke up and got ready. And um, I, I'm almost finished with my first glass of water. I try and I actually have Alexa reminding me every hour the alarm goes off to drink a glass of water. The most important thing, especially in this 115 degree weather heat. So now I need to remind myself every hour a glass of water. So we're about to do, um, we're about to film a video for Marcus's, Marcus Picks channel. So um, no food right now, just water. And uh, if you want to join us, I guess let's go. <laughs> Mm. I get to read the AF100, right? Yeah, there's two of them. <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Good luck! Tis Melvin. Zoo, Amabel de Peguero, Sherry Matiotos, Chris Taylor from Hawaii. Okay, I just removed um, the garbanzo beans and the lentils from the fridge. I threw them in the fridge last night. Um, they go bad so easily, so I really coddle these while I'm. Um, soaking them. I don't cook them. I soak them oh, about eight hours in water. And then I throw the, if they're still not soft enough, I'll throw them in the fridge overnight. I don't know. I could drain them now and, um, just put them in a glass container on the top shelf where it's coldest. Because remember, these tend to go bad very quickly, very easily. However, it's so worth all the trouble because lentils have the highest protein content of any other item in the bulk section. I said bulk section, <laughs> highest content. So I make sure to include plenty of lentils into my diet. And this here is uh, just black wild rice that has been, again, soaking. None of these have been cooked. They're all completely soft now and edible. Maybe a little slightly al dente, but <clears throat> the texture's perfect. In fact, I prefer this texture than mushy baby cereal type texture. Like this is more alive, it's more substance. So that is gonna stay on the counter for a few hours until I get hungry. But for now, in the morning, um, it doesn't really matter. You know, I, I guess now I do it first thing in the morning. Um, I do my powder drink because a, who doesn't need energy? Um, that's my coffee. The green formula is my coffee. And uh, who doesn't need protein? So I make sure to get protein. We are completely out of water. Da 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, we already have a slow sparklets dispenser, but when it's slow on water, it's even slower. But um, yeah, so intermittent fasting, I've always done intermittent fasting. Some days I do it um, longer. I go more hours without eating food than others, but I am just not an on schedule girl. So this is great. I just do a a heaping teaspoonful. This is my supplement, the only supplements I take because they are in, um, for starters, they're not cooked, they're not killed, all the, and all these vitamins are still intact because they're just gently dried. Um, so another reason, of course, why I love taking this is because our soil has been depleted from of every vitamin and mineral out there. So when you pick anything that you see in the produce department it has been picked prematurely before it's ripe. It's been traveled for at least four, three, two, five days, seven days. Then it sits on the shelves. I mean, it just goes through all this processes where it's losing so much nutritional value. Whereas this is just wildly picked, 
dried, bottled, and boom, delivered to your kitchen. So this is why I supplement with this. This is Mother Nature. It's not synthetic. It's, I don't know, it's, it doesn't get better than this. So that's why I use this. I love eating healthy, you know, my vegetables and legumes and stuff, but I know that it's not as healthy as it was 100 years ago. So this is why I powder. And then I know I don't put it in a smoothie. I just like to just get it out of the way and get it down and just move on. I normally don't drink it that fast, but I'm drinking it fast for you. I don't waste a drop of this, nothing, so I have to go, excuse me. I have to go rinse it out. I feel like I'm disrespecting Mother Nature if I let any of the good stuff out. Okay, so that's my drink. Um, I may have, because it's good for me, <clears throat> I'll do a fruit salad for Marcus. And while I'm making his fruit salad, I'll just take a bunch of blueberries, maybe two handfuls, and eat them. That's at any time. I know that's not intermittent fasting, but I don't do fruit salads for Marcus every day. I'm not going to make Marcus a fruit salad today because I'm out of fruit, haven't made it to the store yet. So if I did, I'd chomp on a couple handfuls of blueberries purely for the antioxidants. Um, I know I should up my fruit intake. It's just hard when you don't really have a craving for it, but I know it is so crucial and good for us and it's summertime and I should be eating way more. So I really have to force myself to eat more fruit. But when it comes to greens, you know, and the savory stuff, plant-based stuff. I do not have to force myself. I love that. It's like icing for me. Okay, so now I feel like I'm getting pumped. The uh, green formula is working, and so I'm going to just start the day and get to work, and I will see you in a few hours when I start getting hungry. to scream ugh, like bodybuilders every time I'm trying to get one of these guys in there. What I'm doing now is something that needed to get done yesterday. I'm changing out these sprinkler heads for these ones. This is more of a drip. This one is more of like a nice fountain. Something that these rose bushes deserve, a lovely fountain. So there's 27 rose bushes here in the front. I'm almost done. So these are garbage. Um, you know, my rose bushes are looking so beautiful this year and I was going to let them, I wasn't going to clip them so I could harvest the rose hips for you in the fall, but I started clipping the dead buds off of them, but that's okay. I've got, uh, I have bushes in the back that I'm going to harvest in the fall. So thank goodness I, I'm done. I'm done with this. They all have these lovely spitters now. Oh, I wanted to um, pluck the weeds myself. I started over there, but um, it's hot out. I may wait until it's um, in the evening, it cools down a little bit. Okay. So I am done in the front. I love spending time out here with these guys. They're just so beautiful. Okay, it's four o'clock and I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to start preparing my favorite meal. Okay, this is my favorite dish ever. It is called salad. <laughs> I like salad, it's versatile. You can 
do it. It just tastes different every way. It makes me excited. I mean, what other food could you eat every day that makes you like excited to eat it every day? Um, okay, so here is the, I'm just gonna grab some olive oil and, uh, and apple cider vinegar. And um, any nuts? No, okay. Uh, these, as you can see, I have all my stuff in glass jars, of course. These belong in the freezer, but I, these are cacao nibs. I keep them in the freezer because they're just nice and crunchier in there. Okay, let's go to the fridge. Bum, ba -dum. No, I swear, I did not make it nice for you, okay? This is how I always keep it. Well, I try to always keep it like this. But um, I need things organized or else I will go crazy looking for stuff. So I need to be able to find things quickly. So over here, I keep my greens on the second or third shelf or fourth. Um, not really so much in the drawers because they get lost in there. It's not easy for me to keep them organized in that drawer. And I don't notice a difference anyway on this shelf. So I also alphabetize them so that I can grab them quicker. So this is arugula, it's Marcus's. And I have basil, which I'm going to use. Cilantro, it's another cilantro. Dandelion greens, I've been in love with dandelion greens lately. Dinosaur kale. What is this? Uh, this is um, chives, alphabetized incorrectly. And then kale. Uh, this one looks a little firmer. Oh, this one, is it? Okay, I'll just deal with that later. And um, rosemary, I love rosemary in the salad for health benefits. And then this are my um, ginger garlic. And, oh, I need an onion. <sighs> I'll just get the onion later. Well, I can get it now. Red onion is very important in the salad as well for me. Oh, and I see the avocado leaving. I'll have to go back and get the avocado. All righty, let me just grab a big salad bowl. So this is my salad bowl. <laughs> and what I do is I make a big, I make enough t for two servings. Sometimes I'll eat the whole bowl. I ate the entire bowl last night. So I do get that hungry that I eat the whole bowl sometimes, but usually I just like to prepare it um, in the morning, which I haven't had a chance to do because I've been so busy doing things. Um, running off that energy I got. It's just crazy that I haven't eaten all day and I've accomplished so much. I've been so physically active and right now I feel like I'm still bouncing off the walls and I haven't eaten anything. And people go, oh my, some people would say, how can you function? You don't get energy if you don't eat. But you do, well, I do. So let's see. Um, here's my salad ingredients. These are uh, kale stems from Marcus's salad. He doesn't like the stems. He just likes the good stuff. I love these. I, th I feel like there's lots of nutrients in the stem, so I make sure to get them in me as well. And then I just um, make it small, and I try and make it as you know nice and as appetizing, as pleasant as possible, meaning I like thinly, thinly sliced kale. All right, so I've got that, and I love using several greens in my salad, not just one. Not just any greens either. They have to be a powerhouse, like the dinosaur kale. For my salad, I do equal amounts each. Next, um, when I first started eating um, dandelion greens, 
I must say, I wasn't very pleased with the flavor, but like most things, boy, do they grow on you if you know what's good for you and you understand the health benefits. So um, now I actually very much um, enjoy them in my salad and miss them when they're not in there. And my goodness, they're, their stems are so dark purple, meaning loaded with antioxidants and just so, uh, I try and go for the, um, the red, the darker your vegetables, the more antioxidants it has in them. So I always go for the more darker, the one with more purple. Uh, and then herbs. Basil is just, anything from Mother Nature is supposed to be good for you. I'm not talking about, you know, poison ivy. I'm talking about the food stuff. Um, so I do try and get as much edible things from Mother Nature as I possibly can into the salad. Basil leaves, I don't know, I just throw them in there. <clears throat> I also um, really love the health benefits and the flavor and taste of mint in my salad. However, they didn't have mint in bulk in the big plastic um, clamshell. They only had it in the tiny spice one, and I'm not going to pay $2.99 for that. So I didn't get the mint. But usually I buy it in the clamshell, which is a great deal. And I'm going to take some chelating cilantro, mince it up, and throw it in there, too. So I make my salad in phases. So this is phase one. Now I'm gonna just put a little olive oil on there. Lemon. And then my salt. Sometimes, oh God, just like that. It's so heaven. Like I just so appreciate just these flavors with maybe just a little sprinkle of nutritional yeast. That right there to me is one of the most delicious, satisfying, and just exciting meals I could possibly eat, just like that. But. If you weren't here, like I do take a couple bites while I'm preparing it, but I don't want to right now. So I put the dressing on there like that because I want to get, I like the dressing more um, coating my leaves, but not in my um, embellishments. So now I'm going to embellish the salad with all these goodies. I always have at least three legumes or beans soaking at a time. Usually these three guys, because they're just very, very high. Um, they're nutritionally dense. So they're great. They're perfect for what I'm trying to achieve here. So I rinse them every night and put them back in the fridge. It just is how I feel. Sometimes I just drain them, but they're okay in water. Um, they're perfect, they're soft. I didn't cook them. I just soaked them overnight. I'm gonna put them in. Oops. It's like, um, rather, you know, an acai bowl. I like to make salad bowls. <laughs> Like, like people make acai bowls. And, <laughs> yeah. And um, all these, they just soften up overnight perfectly. Mmm, the rice. I love when that rice just splits in the middle like that. So those go aside. Wow. Everybody 
everybody has their own ways of doing things and preparing food for themselves. I'm a little quirky when it comes to the way I do it. Um, you know, I wanted to, <laughs> I'm like, okay, now I'm just going to put more olive oil and lemon on that. But I really wanted to, the reason I like to put it on my greens first is because I like to coat all those greens first with olive oil. Let me explain my, med my method to my madness. I'm the, one of those people that do not like my food mixed up. Now, I cannot believe how many people actually love to stir their food. Marcus, for one, I make him the most beautiful salad or the most beautiful meal, and it's all perfectly placed, and then he stirs everything up. I don't like eating like that. I like to pick, you know, I like it like a buffet in my bowl. So that's why I don't like mixing everything up. That's why I put the dressing on those greens first. Um, avocados. I don't know if you saw my refrigerator door. I have, um, I don't know, eight avocados going. I go to the store once a week and I always buy 10 to 12 avocados when I do go to the store because avocados make up a huge part of my diet. I need a avocado at least every day, just like my salad. So I do eat an avocado every day. Tomatoes, uh, I see some tomatoes over there, but I don't know, I've not been really into tomatoes in my salad lately. I'm a girl, I can change my mind. Okay, then, um, okay, so that's about it for that. And then I do my toppings, which I don't want to get wet. Oh, that's right. I forgot to show you guys the little cream. I love variety, so I do two dressings instead of one. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of vinegar over the all of it. Okay. A little bit too much. Okay, so stay right there. Now I'm going to make my cream dressing. Okay, just a little water. Um, my, my dressing that I'm going to make either consists of all walnuts and a little water or cashews in a little water. I use about a cup, a cup of cashews, and water, and that's it in the blender. Now I keep it in there for a little bit longer than people might expect because I like my cream smooth. I don't like any little piece of um, granules of nuts in there. Just smooth cream because I want to make eating pleasurable. So here's my base. Now I'm gonna play with it just a little bit. So that's just cashew and water. And then I add my little tamari, um, garlic powder for flavor, yum. Garlic powder, it's just powdered garlic. So it's okay. And a little salt because I like the flavors of both and they, they, they take off each other. So that's all that is. Are those three things and just going to whisk it up. And if it's a little too thick for your liking, you know, just add a little bit more, uh, add a little bit more um, water. I totally forgot a lot of lemon juice goes in here. Like you really cannot have enough lemon juice. And if you're using cashews in a savory dish, the more lemon juice, the better, because it really gets rid of that, uh, really hides that sweet cashew flavor. Okay, that's it. 
Now I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of this over my salad. Especially over the legumes and the beans and the rice. This is like dessert for me. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm mincing some rosemary, not because I necessarily like the flavor of rosemary, but because of its health properties, but the flavor is not all that bad. Next, I've got garlic. This is what Kara eats in a day. I'm not saying you guys should do this, but this is what I eat in a day. So I do about eight garlic cloves. These are small, I don't know. I like dealing with the bigger ones because they're just quicker. Um, uh, I do this for, <laughs> now the garlic isn't for the health benefits for me. I like the rosemary is, but I put all these garlic in my salad purely for the uh, flavor <laughs> and the taste because I love garlic. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we have here. While I'm cutting, okay, garlic. This is what my salad consists of. Garlic, lung cancer risk. People who ate raw garlic at least twice a week during a seven year study period had a 44% lower risk of developing lung cancer. According to a study conducted at the Jingusu Provincial Center for Disease Control and Prevention in China. Um, they saw a, also a protective association between intake of raw garlic and lung cancer. Yes, we just said that. You're uh, not even looking at what you're doing. Uh, no, I know. Oh my God, that's scary. Uh, I have my ginger here and I do about a half of a pepper. I do not, I wash my ginger when I bring it home uh, with a sponge and um, vegetable soap. So I am able to use the skin. Plus I think the skin is very good for you. Um, ginger. Okay, well, I've got lentils in here. I'll just talk to you while I chop. Uh, the lentils, rich source of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Oh, I'm sorry, we're on chickpeas. Chickpeas offers a variety of health benefits such as improving digestion, aiding weight management, reducing risk of several diseases. Additionally, chickpeas are high in protein and make an excellent replacement for meat and vegetarian and vegan diets. Lentils are highly nutritious and are packed with vitamins, magnesium, zinc, and potassium. One cup of these lentils has 18 grams of protein, 16 grams of fiber, 18% of the recommended daily allowance of B6, 90% of the folate. They also have a very beneficial plant compound called phytochemicals, which protects against chronic diseases. This is an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and neuroprotective food. Hang on. I have a cell phone too. Uh, those solicitors. Um, okay, so we have the lentils. I just, so, now I've got. So uh, you just chopped all that without even looking at it. Yes, I did. So uh, I. So this this is about I don't know a fourth cup of just ginger, garlic, and jalapeno, and to me it's it's as like a. D delicious on a salad is croutons are to some people. I mean, this is where all the flavor comes in, but it's also where a lot of the nutrients, I mean, not a lot, the whole salad is loaded with nutrients, but oh look, I got a few. Okay, and then red onion. I love the flavor of red onion in my salad, so I do a half of an onion, and I like to I chop them thick so that I can actually taste them. Marcus likes his onions minced, and I'm like, why would you even can taste them? 
You cannot taste them when they're minced. Okay, and that. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> That's right. Like, I knew, you, you gotta understand, I de do have way more than many things I'm putting on there. I just can't stop like that. So, for fats, good fats, I have pine nuts. Yes, pine nuts. I also put chives in there. Well, did I put my chives? I forgot. Um, chives improves a person's sleep and bone health. Chives are a nutrient-dense food. Means they're in low in calories, but are packed with nutrition. So I always include bulbous vegetables in my salad as well. And, oh, I also like to mince walnuts in there too. Rich in antioxidants, omega-3s. Then I got the pumpkin seeds going on in there. I mean, anybody that says, Kara's missing out, she's starving herself. She eats a salad a day. I mean, this is like eight different meals that normal people eat in one salad. I've got beans dish going on there. I have a rice dish going on there. No, I have two bean dishes going on there. Then I have all those crucif cruciferous greens. I've got the red onion. I've got the ginger, the garlic, the jalapeno. And I eat this much of it. I am serious. And I am a salt lover, so I'm going to put a little salt on there. Maybe I should have Marcus throw this in fast motion so I can eat it, but... Oh. It never disappoints. <laughs> I am never uh, drained throughout the day or feeling like, oh no, I'm losing energy. I have zero crashes. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I make myself a salad like this, but I usually wait until four later in the afternoon to eat it, so. All right. Okay, so it's six, almost 6.30, and I'm going to eat my last meal. I just now saw the cheese. I forgot it for my salad, uh, the feta cheese that we make on page 186 of the cookbook. This is so good. I said, okay, it's almost 7 o'clock. Girl, if you're going to eat it, cookie dough, you better eat it now, or you're not going to eat it until tomorrow. But... This is my guilty pleasure. Oh, I just love it so much. And I don't like, that's mostly dough, but I do see some walnuts in there and cacao nibs. But I don't, I like to, again, <laughs> take out of there because I don't like to put the walnuts in there because then it gets soft. But, so check this out. So this is how I like to do it. And then this is cacao nibs. And this, this is called icing sugar. Now I'm very proud to say I did not know what icing sugar was until I was 51 years old. I'm like, I never even heard of it before. Icing sugar is sugar that is perfect to make icing because it's been powdered. So it's basically powdered sugar. But this is Marcus's powdered sugar that powders beautifully in the Vitamix. So I like to sprinkle a little bit of this delicious, actually healthy, good for you sugar. Look at it. So that's all nice and coated. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> And then I just pour it on top. All my life, I've always insisted on a teeny tiny dessert spoon, just because I like it better like that, and I like to take bite-sized pieces. What is the cookie dough for people who haven't seen the recipe? Oh, the cookie dough, in case, the recipe is right there, but the cookie dough is basically great ingredients for you. No flour. No flour, peanut butter and cashew butter, or peanut butter and almond butter, or cashew and almond, any nut butter. Uh, a grated, a grated uh, green apple, 
And I actually, I do put my own flour in there. I, I threw some um, cashews in a blender and I powdered them, but you gotta be very careful because if you leave them in the blender too much, it'll turn into um, cashew peanut butter cream, cashew cream. Or almond flour you could use. Follow me to my mouth. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that tastes like the bad for you cookie dough that tastes so good, but it's full of chemicals. It's just like five ingredients, vanilla, a sweetener, and those nut butters and a nut powder. I really tried to help you out as much as I can. My eating habits are very dull and boring to the lay person. It's not that exciting. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But basically, this is how I eat every single day. Same thing. When I go on vacation, it's basically the same thing, but somebody else prepares it. <laughs> it's the salads. So I hope this helps. As soon as I get out of bed, I, I, my feet are on the floor and running until when I collapse around 10:30, 11 at night. I insist around 10.30 or to half an hour before I go to bed, I need some time for myself. So I stop working. But Marcus and I, we that's what we do all day till nighttime is working. So, and you need energy to work. And I wanna do my best job. So of course, I'm going to eat the best food to get the best energy. That's it. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys got something out of this. And um, I really did enjoy sharing with my salad with you guys. I'm very proud of her. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.